Hey guys, MFK Clicks here, and welcome to PlayStation Follower. I just want to say a quick thanks to all of the support we've been seeing over the past few days, and we're really looking forward to bringing you an amazing year of gaming content. Today, I want to talk about why we need a Destiny 2 tie in event before the release of Destiny 2. The donning was fun. It did add a few nice things and alter a few others, but like most of Destiny's live events, the charm wore off pretty quickly. So here we are in January, the dawning is over, and we really have nothing new to look forward to in Destiny at this point. It has been speculated that the old raids may be returning in April, and I know everyone here would love to see that, but even if the old raids are updated and released in April, that creates a large time span of 5-7 to seven months with no new updates in the game. And that is assuming Destiny 2 releases between September and November of 2017. If Destiny 2 gets delayed, that's an even longer time span with nothing new for us to do in the game. And that seems like a pretty damaging blow to a game that's already got players constantly migrating to other games. That's why I wanted to bring up the idea of a Destiny 2 tie-in event to you guys. Bungie could give us an event that could set the stage for Destiny 2's story in a way that gets us invested and makes us actually give a damn about what the story to Destiny 2 is. An event like this could drop in August, and it would help pad out the year of endgame content alongside a new April update. Now, what I mean by tying the story together is, if Destiny 2 is going to center around a Cabal invasion of our system, and let's face it, that's probably what it's going to be, we could do some activities in-game where we make an effort to prepare the last city and the tower from a Cabal attack. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be that but this is what I'm talking about, an event that sets the stage for Destiny 2, what we can expect, get us invested, get us hooked, and ready to play Destiny 2 at launch. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Do you want a Destiny 2 tie-in event, or do you think things should just end with the April update and we ride that on into the release of Destiny 2? If you guys could bring your own tie-in event, what would it be and why? But let us know what you think down in the comment section below. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, a like is always appreciated. If you happen to be new to PlayStation Follower, be sure to hit the subscribe button. But anyways, I'm going to get out of here. I want to thank you all for watching, and I will catch you guys next time.